Hey guys, and welcome back to Pixel Cherry Ninja's channel. Uh, if you're a regular on the channel, you know I love overlays, I love shaders, I love messing about with effects on uh, emulators, on my mister. I've even tried scan lines on the analog pocket, so there's, uh, there's no risk for me in regard to those. But today we are going to have a look at MAME and MAME for Windows. So this is a tutorial. Once we are uh, get past the OOR factor and uh, having a look at all of these. So this is for MAME, it's for Windows. You're gonna need, need like the uh, one of the latest versions of MAME uh, from 0 0.250 onwards. It may work on an older one, but I think I remember reading in the notes that you need, uh, it's been tested only with 0 0.250 five zero and above i am running the latest version i can't remember it i think i think it might be uh two five three or two five one but just talking a little, little bit about it look at it look at look at the screen right so first of all do you remember playing games in the arcade so this is for the older uh subscribers or viewers of the channel do you remember when you had the arcade machines and you had like the bezels the artwork around there i really like this artwork and if you look carefully at the screen you can see a reflection of other arcade machines in the background and if you guys remember, when we played in the arcade, some of the screens were quite reflective and you'd, you'd, you'd catch other screens um, being reflected in uh, in your screen, more so in like darker games. So there's a few variations of this. We'll, we'll have a look at it. There's plenty of options you can play about with. It's, um, it's not the most intuitive way, but you can go into it any and change stuff. So there is a learning curve to it to some extent. Maybe you can do it through MAME's interface. I don't personally know. But there's only two things that I'm kind of gang with this. So I've put these um, overlays on. So at the moment, all, all you, all, everything you've seen so far is just the overlay. I'm not running like a shader or anything like that. So this is the overlay where you've got like scratches on the screen. You've got the reflections. And it, it just looks really, really good. Um, now... The other part we're going to look at in coming up in a few games um, is going to be with like CRT shaders. But yeah, do you, you guys remember like seeing all these and you know, you might in the UK over here, we had like a lot of chip shops and, and the games we had in the chip shops, it had all these like overlays around there and, and, and like watching this, I can smell vinegar. There's no vinegar around. I'm in my room. There's no vinegar, but the chip shops or as you Americans call them fryers. Uh, I know chips are crisps and chips are like fryers. They're a fried potato. Right here we are now. We are looking at uh, these with a CRT filter. And so we've got the overlay that's got the reflections. It's got like the scratch marks. Now, if a game like Alpha 2, they haven't got one for Alpha 2 this version of it, it just gives you a generic one. And this is the generic one, which again, reminds me of the generic cabs without the artwork. And then you've got like brilliant artwork like we have here for Rastan. And you know, when you were a child and you went to the arcades and you check this stuff out, your eyes just opened up, you know, everything like the overlays, the graphics, it was it was a magical experience. Um, and I think that's what a lot of us kind of chase now. We're chasing that magical time. And now if you've got like a big TV and you want it to look like an um, arcade machine, well, you can now. So we're going to get into the tutorial in a minute. Um, yeah, guys, uh, if you're a regular on the channel, then welcome back. If you're new, then hey, welcome. And uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, then uh, yeah, a massive favor. If you can subscribe, like, turn on the notifications. It really, really does help the channel out. Uh, yeah, guys, let's get into this video. Uh, let's get into this tutorial and uh, let's get these overlays and this shader working on our MAME for Windows. <laughs> Original Among Us, huh? If you're still here on this part of the video it means you liked what you saw at the beginning of the video and you want these uh, bezels and potentially the crt um, shader as well so first of all head over to the link check the description i have put a link in there which will take you to mr retro lust mame lights out bezel revisited 0 0.04 so this is the Launchbox forums. Launchbox, they actually do a really good product called uh, Big Box. I used it and the guys are really cool because uh, I changed, I had it under my real name when I bought it and I asked them, I said, look, I'm doing like content now. Can I get it changed to my uh, username? And they changed it for me within an hour. I emailed them, they changed it. So props to uh, all the launch uh, Launchbox guys. Really good forums. If you want stuff for front ends, like I suggest you guys check it out. But um, anyway, back to the tutorial. Uh, head over to uh, this page, it'll be in there. You need to sign up for the forums. It's a quick and easy one. Uh, so it's not difficult to do, it's free. So there's no charge here. Uh, without signing uh, up for the forum or being uh, a signed up member, you're not gonna get this to down, uh, download this file. Now, this whole pack, it, it's quite big, 
uh, it is quite big for a bezel pack. I think the whole thing is close to 15 gigs. So what you want to do is you want to download each one of these. It downloads quite quick. Uh, when I did this yesterday, I think I got the whole thing within 30 minutes. I was doing other jobs in between, and but I downloaded it and it downloaded quick. And then just keep them in um, whatever, whatever a safe place. But that's pretty much what we need from this website. Um, so once we've done that, we can get away from that. Uh, again, I've left a nice clean desktop for you guys. I even made a uh, so I've made a shortcut to uh, my main folder, which is okay. So it is uh, uh, two five one. That's the ver version that I'm using. So uh, I'm not going to tell you guys how to install Mame. If you if you've got Mame installed, cool. If you haven't, uh, there's plenty of tutorials up there. It's pretty straightforward uh, to install Mame. If you can install. Uh, anything on your PC, you can. I f it's, it's very, very straightforward. But wherever your MAME is, your main directory for MAME, um, you want to go over to that. So let's let's just open that up. And OK, again, it's on my other screen. OK, so we've got MAME opened up now. And wherever your downloads are, so I've just moved them into a folder for the sake of this video. So these are all the downloads that you saw. So really, really straightforward. Um, so what we're going to do is, okay, so ignore that folder. That's my old bezel project that I was using. So what you can do in MAME, if you've got like previous overlays that you're using, just change your artwork folder name and you can kind of leave it there. That's what I do with a lot of stuff. So it's just to remind me uh, the old bezel project. So if I want to use the bezel project again, I would name the current one. Uh, let's say the current one's got lights out in there. I would just call it artwork uh old lights out but again that's just how i index my stuff it might work different for you but i find that's useful for me because if i go back to it like a year later and i can't remember i'll know what kind of uh, trail to to follow but anyway that's our current artwork folder just ignore that one that's just the way i index my stuff um and once you're in the artwork folder this is what it'll look like because i've already done it now you've got these files here you've got a few different ways of doing it you can either highlight everything and go to uh, 7-zip or WinRAR. I've got 7-zip, so you can go like extract files. And once you extract files, you can uh, pick a location. So uh, normally it will just pick the default location, but you can copy this location here. So wherever your MAME is, MAME is installed, artwork, and then you can extract, just make sure you're extract, extracting all the files and you're not creating a subfolder because you need to put all the files in here. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll just have a look at one of them. So we look at A, I'm just gonna double click it. And as you can see, it's got all these zip files on there. What you could do as well, you could just control A over here and you could just drag these over here and just put those in here. Uh, like I said, I've already done it. And once you've done that for all the files, it's again, it's up to you how you like doing it. I had done the whole lot in one. I just told it, you know, go. And when I extracted the files, uh, when I extracted the files, I just told it, yes, extract it to this location here. And it done everything in one. And that's it. It's it's working. Um, one other thing I wanted to show you guys, um, because now once you've done this, it will it will work. Uh, but what we're going to do now, we're just going to we're going to. So if you like the, C the CRT ones and you want to get that CRT effect, it's just a change in the INI. And you can have a look at the INI. There's other things in there you can change and do. So if I go back into the, the main folder now, there's a main dot i and i uh, an any file uh, in in main which is which is your settings now you won't originally have it until you first save something on main so you can just save a setting and revert it back and it will create a main any a main main yeah a main any uh, once we've got the any so this is this is the file here so uh, let's just go control F. So and we want to that's what we want to look for. Here you go. Preparation for the video. Let me just put that in capitals so maybe you guys can see it better. HLSL. -L. So let's search for HLSL within the any here we go. So we've got it here. So if you leave it on zero, let's just get rid of that. If you leave that on zero, that's where you're just going to have the overlay. If you now change that to one, so have a look at the line that I'm doing. Once you search for HLSL, it's the one HLSL enable. I've changed that to one, which means yes, turn it on. And then you go and save that. Now, once you've saved that, you've got the overlays which are there already. You have now got the CRT effect. Now, on YouTube, the CRT doesn't always look good. Uh, but it looks really good when you're actually playing it. Uh, YouTube's compression, something about it. Even when I'm editing the video and looking at it through an editing... Uh, 
window i can see that it doesn't look as good i still tend to use some in my videos i just really like them um, but that's up to you so that's pretty much it then all you need to do is launch MAME and uh, profit okay guys that brings us to the end of the video i really really hope you are enjoying this uh overlay or this overlay and shader combo uh, if you did enjoy it then a like a subscription is super appreciated uh, let me know your thoughts below about this recommend me any other shaders or overlays or projects i'm, all, I'm, I'm always always interested uh, anyway guys i will see you in the next video pixel cherry ninja out